GCSE Biology 263 this is section uh, C and here we're looking um, at the blood supply to the heart via the coronary artery this is the blood vessel which supplies heart muscle the coronary artery is a branch of the aorta so the aorta leaves the heart and branches to form the coronary artery and the coronary artery takes oxygen and nutrient such as glucose to the heart muscle the coronary artery can be seen in this diagram as the red blood vessels sweeping across the surface of the heart. These are branches of this blood vessel here, which is the aorta. So these fine, smaller arteries branch out of the aorta, across the surface of the heart, and then descend into the heart muscle, branching smaller and smaller, delivering oxygen and nutrient to the heart muscles. Because of a number of factors, including dietary fat, the coronary arteries can become uh, blocked. If we took the coronary artery in cross section, it would look like this. And the wall would be like this. Down through the center here travels the blood. Now, if this central part called the lumen through which the blood travels if this becomes blocked then the heart would receive less blood and therefore less oxygen and nutrient this blockage process could perhaps be a partial blockage like this here we see a build up of the blockage down here so we have reduced blood flow, which of course in turn means reduced oxygen supply and reduced nutrient, such as glucose. And a patient suffering from this would experience a condition called angina or heart pain. A more serious version of this would be where the uh, coronary artery is completely blocked, interrupting the blood flow. This is a condition called myocardial infarction. Myo meaning muscle, cardial referring to the heart, and in the infarction refers to the interrupted blood flow. Well, let's return to the diagram to see the effects of myocardial infarction. If the coronary artery is blocked in this area here, then all the heart cells in this area here, supplied by the coronary artery, coronary artery will de be deprived of oxygen and nutrient. If this is severe blockage then these cells will begin to die. So all these cells in the region of the heart would die and this is what is better known as a heart attack. So a myocardial infarction is what we call a heart attack. When severe, this can actually lead to death. It is possible for surgeons to bypass these blockages, and this is what students will be familiar with the phrase coronary bypass, in which the surgeon, if the blockage is here, it's possible for the surgeon to reroute the blood around the blockage uh, using a, uh, an extra blood vessel 
removed from another part of the body such as the back of the leg so the surgeon is able to plug in the new blood vessel in front of the blockage plug in the bl blood vessel behind the blockage and bypass the obstruction coronary arteries